As a professional salesperson, you're going to encounter objections. There's three different types. The first type of objection you'll encounter could be a real one. It's a genuine no. You might be talking to a potential client and they say, hey, do you know what? I just signed a three-year contract with your competitor and we're only four months in. I would regard that as a real no. And a real no is a wonderful thing in selling. It liberates you because you no longer live in false hope about someone being a prospect when they're not. It enables you to go and focus your precious time where you're likely to actually get a return and it stops you annoying someone who isn't gonna be buying from you anyway. Now, obviously in that situation, you would use your CRM system and six or nine months before that three-year contract is up with your competitor, you'd make sure that your CRM prompts you or the person that replaces you in your role one day to contact that person proactively. So that's the first type of objection, a real no. I don't have a problem with a real no, they're great. The next type of objection you can get is a simple pushback or a fob off. And that's typically caused by the way that we open. It's really important that when we open the sale, and by the way, opening is the most difficult and the most important phase of selling. It's difficult because strangers are wired to ignore sellers or anybody that they don't know. And it's critically important because it sets the tone for everything that follows. People that struggle to close usually struggle to close because they didn't open well. So if you're getting fobbed off or you're just getting a pushback, is often because of the way that you opened. So don't open in a way that makes you look needy or that you're not a peer. So communicate like a peer with the person. The next one is a genuine objection. And if it can be overcome, then you can create progression with the person. So with those, it's really important that you handle them in a thoughtful and nuanced manner. So just remember, there's three types of objections, understand which one you're dealing with, and don't fear getting a genuine no. It'll liberate you, it frees you of false hope, it helps you go focus with those that you can help. So then understand the difference between someone just giving you a bit of a pushback because they're busy, they're on their way to their meeting, they weren't expecting your call, and there's a mindset that you need to have. Make the excuse the reason. If they go, hey, you know, we're in a recession at the moment, we're reevaluating all of our projects, we're not looking to bring any new suppliers on board, you say, hey, that's exactly why I think it makes sense for us to have a conversation. Make the excuse the reason. Be a true believer in the value that you can offer in a conversation well in advance of them being a client and understand the improved business results that they can achieve in working with you. Get the conversation focused on business case value, the commercial value of change as soon as you can. Talk about them, and their opportunity to improve results in their role rather than talking about you and what you do. I'm Tony Hughes. You can find more videos in my YouTube channel and you'll also find me at Sales IQ Global. Mm -hmm.